Welcome to today's snapshot for Dr. Martin Luther Church, the snapshot for Thursday. We're going to look at the lessons assigned for this Sunday. We don't read them all at these online services because, frankly, they would take too much time. But you might want to look at Acts, the last five verses of Acts 7 through 8 1. It talks about the martyrdom of Stephen, uh, who was martyred while his clothes were laying at the feet of. Saul, who became St. Paul. I always loved that section because my name is Stephen. My folks always told me I was named after the first Christian martyr. I had no idea what that meant at the time. I knew that it meant that he lost his life because of his faith. I had no idea there would be so many martyrs over the centuries. I'm reading a book right now that talks about the martyrdom of many Christians from the Middle Ages to the present day, and it's really astounding and a sad chapter in the life of people of faith. The second lesson, which I am going to read a few verses of on Sunday, is from 1 Peter 2. In that section, Peter, who writes to the universal church, in fact, in fact, 1 Peter is called one of the Catholic epistles, meaning universal. He writes to the universal church and says to them, like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk so that you may grow up in your salvation. It's a wonderful section, especially wonderful because it concludes with famous words, you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. It's a great section for people who were under persecution at the time that it was written. By the way, the author of 1 Peter is reported to be Simon Peter, the same person in the Bible who's called Simon, and then Simon Peter, he's called Cephas, which means the rock in Aramaic. He's noted to be the first pope, which is why the cathedral or basilica in Rome is called St. Peter's Cathedral. Well, the third lesson, the gospel lesson, is the one I'm going to preach on. It's a wonderful lesson from John 14, which many of you are familiar with. You probably hear John 14, 1 to 14, at a lot of funerals. It's interesting because there's a reference to Philip in the lesson, and Philip is known as Philip the Practical, because in the three times he appears in the gospels, He's always asking nuts and bolts questions. Is that Jesus? Well, let's come and see. We don't have enough denarii to buy all the food we need for these people at the feeding of the 5,000s. And then in today's lesson, he says, Jesus, help us to see the Father, and then we'll be satisfied. And Jesus says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. But the reason I like it the best is because of the verse, I am the way, the truth, and the life. On Sunday, I think we'll talk about that verse in a way that is expansive. We can make it a tight and confined verse. You only come to the Father if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, or we can look at it in an expansive way. No one comes to the Father but by Jesus, and by Jesus, it's expansive. I think we'll have fun with that. I hope you'll tune in on Saturday or Sunday. God bless you in your day-to-day. -day. Let's conclude with a prayer. Lord, let my heart be good soil, the hymn goes. Open to the seed of your word. Lord, let my heart be good soil, where love can grow and peace is understood. When my heart is hard, break the stone away. When my heart is cold, warm it with the day. When my heart is lost, lead me on your way. Lord, let my heart be good soil. Amen.